There we are, back in the Queen of Soldiers Hive. I've got to change the, it's been two weeks, and I've got to change the Apicard to a new um, treatment, because it's two weeks, then another one for two weeks, it's four weeks altogether. So we'll get in there now and have a look. Hopefully there's no swarm cells in here. Go into here now where I've got the Epi Guard. There's the old Epi Guard. You see, it's mostly all gone, but we take that out now and put the new one in. Go through this hive first. I'm going to make sure we haven't got any queen cells in here. I'll take this, um, there's a dummy board on this one. Here we are, take the dummy board out. just want to check we haven't got any queen cells because we don't want to lose this hive in August it's not nice to lose your lose your bees to a swarm in August this one is completely full with um, honey look this is a honey frame there's no there's no larvae in there at all, it's all honey that one. So that's a good resource for the winter. So we'll put this one down out the way. Just says I've got plenty of room to get in. There's no queen on there. There's a lot of bees in here. I mean that's completely, that one's completely covered in brood. Both sides. There is no room in there for anything else. It's pretty well covered, look, you can see. Not a lot of room left for stores, but there is some stores there. We've got honey, honey up here, honey there. You can see just there is the honey along the top there, and so you've got basically a circle there of brood. And there don't seem to be a lot of drones in here, which is quite good news because. When you haven't got a lot of drones, mm. it's a sort of sign they're not they're not desperately thinking of swarming. It's just one of one of the many signs, I suppose you could say. But even that's not guaranteed, it's uh, it's just a sign. Well this actually is been backfilled in nectar. 
Queen has started to lay a little bit less and uh, they've backfilled that in nectar which is going to happen this time of year August as the Queen starts to reduce uh, laying capabilities look at this one and the same in there she's back they backfilled yep they, they certainly backfilled that with nectar You'll probably get into some honey now, um, some brood now, I would imagine. Just being careful not to wash any of the bees on the lugs because there's quite a few bees on them lugs. Mm -hmm. Be on the finger there, look. This one's got a lot of eggs and larvae in this one, in there, this is all larvae and eggs in there, there's some cat brood there, and they've backfilled this here, this part all there is backfilled with nectar. Then again with this, this frame has got a lot of nectar around here and all this is brood. Some is capped and some is just larvae in there and eggs. I can see that nicely. They know can calm these bees. Populus in this is quite soft populus, so you can get the frames out easy. So they're certainly not thinking of swarming, are they? You can see. There's a lot of pollen in this one. This is all pollen here, and this is all pollen here. And this is um, mixed with brood and cat brood. There is some, there is some drone cells here. So they are still making drones. There's a queen cup there, that, well, clay cup, there's nothing in that, I'll just check that for you. This there. It was just there, this is a, a clay cup. Where did I find it? There, look. Here's the queen. Queen that's older there, look. She's just there marked red. I think she's uh, looking for somewhere to lay an egg. This frame is full of eggs and larvae. So we put that back now, she's okay. And um, 
there's no queen cells in there. There's no need to go any further. She's fine. I'm going to I'll put that down, that flame, so that there's a gap here. Now I'm pushing the flame back now where she is, very slowly. She's got the bee space there and she's safe. Now I'm going to push all these flames back at once. Be really careful slowly. Push these. Push all them flames back like that. Together. Then I'll put this this one back, this was a honey frame wasn't it? Honey frame back in. Really careful, push that back. Actually, there's an interesting thing there, there's a um, this is a pupa here from a wax moth. So a wax moth has laid an egg in there and it's pupa, a pupa stage there. Normally the bees would take that out. We'll put the, uh, put the dummy ball back now. So I'll shake the bees off, it doesn't really hurt them. You're better off shaking them off than you are scraping them down here. So very carefully now put that back, the dummy board. And put that eat back on there. And I'm putting the second dose of Apigard on, which will last another two weeks. That's four weeks in all. And I'll open it up again and take, if there's any remainder in there, I'll take that off. The bees get out of the way slowly if we just do that. That's it, them out of the way. Put this box back. Smoke them off from the back here. So as you can see, this second box, they are filling up now. With the nectar. And look how lovely them bees are, look. They are so beautiful. It's just unbelievable how nice they are. They're putting all that nectar in there for the winter, and I'll just make sure by the end of it, by the you know another month or two, this will be jammed with honey, and so will there be quite a bit downstairs. I'll make sure they've got 40 pounds of honey to see them through the winter. I want to get this honey into this hive now. This is the reason I'm feeding it because I want to get the honey in before the ivy comes because the ivy tends to crystallise quite a lot, goes rock hard in the hive so I like to have them really fed up well before the ivy flow comes then they've got some nice soft honey to see them through the winter. So I'll put this back now, clear them little bees off of there slowly, they get out of the way. So I'll fill this up now with some feed which is 2 to 1 ratio, I've got 2 pounds of sugar to 1 pint of water. There we are, see, so I've got that mixture made up here of sugar syrup. I'll um, top this feeder up now, 
you chop it up fairly slowly because there's bees in here uh, in the feeder and um, you've got to let them have time to walk up the edge of the feeder I'll show you in a minute see uh, this bee just landed on there, I'll have to get this one off, there we are, he's a good, good little bee, get off of there, that's it, see, uh, so we put the syrup in and all these bees under this cup here have to walk up the edge, there's a wasp there, the cup have to walk up the edge and to get to the feed, so do it slowly, then you don't drown the bees, put the lid on, and get any other bees off us up here, Hey, come on, BB. Off you go. That's a good girl. There's a wasp that's gone now. That was a wasp. A wasp, no more. Then I'll put the. I'll put this super on actually. It's what I use just to cover that so we've got space there. So I can put the lid on. So that's, that's that done. There we are then. That's that one changed for the next two weeks. Then I'll be taking it away and taking the eek away. And I'll continue feeding this now right and for another about four weeks, I should think. And it will be loaded right up then. We go on to the next stage, preparing for winter. I'm off now to do quite a few other hives, the same as I've just done to that one. I'm off to change the Happy Guard in some other hives. As well as that I'll be coming over shortly and renewing that wasp trap that's there. Just close that little entrance up there. So they only got that one now because I did see a wasp trying to get in. Well one actually did go in so that's closed up now. They soon get used to that the bees and orientate to the centre entrance only. Um, they're managing at the moment to go in and out okay and not backing up. Of course if you leave a small entrance with a lot of bees they do back up and they can't all get in the hive and out so it's a it's a thing we have to balance I would say. We'll get off now to the other hives, different apiaries and um, change the apicard. <laughs> 